بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. Today in our short lecture, we will understand how to select a journal for your research publication. Often we have seen that those uh, newcomers in research, whether they are in masters, in PhD, or they want to publish their research, they found it very difficult to select a particular relevant journal for their research. So in our today's uh, video, we will understand how they can choose the best journal very easily by using the journal finders. And this system has been adopted by most of the relevant as well as renowned publishers, scientific publishers like Elsevier and Springer. So uh, if you want to publish your paper in any of the Springer journals, usually you can use the Google, you can put their Google journal finder and you will get this link. We call it the journal suggester.springer.com. Or if you are relevant or you think to publish your research papers in any of the Elsevier journals, similarly, you can use the Google for Elsevier journal finder or directly you can use this link journalfinder.elsevier.com. So let us learn this process, how this is happening and how this system is uh, very, you know, helping us in understanding all this system. So what you have to do, first of all, you have to uh, use this Google platform and we can put, for example, Springer Journal Finder. So when you put the Springer Journal Finder in the Google, you will get the first link. This is called as a Springer Journal Suggester. We'll click here. So this page will be open. In this page, if you see, Springer is providing 2,500 journals and uh, from their AI system, artificial intelligence system, you can select the best relevant journal for your research publication. So you will find that you have the manuscript title. You have to put your manuscript title. You can put the whole manuscript here or simply you can put the extract of your manuscript. And finally, if you wish, you can use the subject area. For example, if your subject area is biomedicine, you can just click here. Or if, for example, your area is chemistry and others, or if you don't want to make your uh, subject area very much specific, then you can put it as such. We call it please select without any you know, particular option. Now, how it works, I'll give an example. I have a paper, I'll copy uh, the title of the paper first so that you will understand how it is working. So I'm just copying my, one of the titles of my paper, like I have copied here. Then I'll put it uh, in my system, like your, it is the title of my manuscript. Then I will put the abstract of my paper directly copy from my word file and put it here in the manuscript text. After that, as I told you that we can choose the subject area or simply we can directly go to the suggest journals option. The second thing you need to understand is that you can refine your recommendations more. They have put here a system, for example, your preference is to check the impact. You, your research is very nice and you want the good impact. So you can check here, you can put here the minimum impact or you can put in the minimum acceptance rate or you can put the maximum time to first decision or you can put here the indexing services. So usually for the newcomers who do not have much, uh, you know, uh, publication experience. So these need not to be done. Simply we can uh, after putting our title as well as manuscript, we can put here the suggest journals. When we click here the suggest journals, you will see you will get n number of journals uh, relevant to your study. And uh, the beauty of this system is that you will get the name of the journal, 
you will easily get the impact factor. How is the impact factor? The latest one, 2020 impact factor is there. And here it is the how many days the first decision is taken. It's an average time. And also the acceptance rate if you want to publish your paper in this journal. Similarly, I have here the for my research you know, arena, I, the first su journal suggested by this AI system, artificial intelligence system by Springer is physiology and molecular biology of plants. Likewise, we have protoplasm, so impact factor. And now it depends upon my preference, uh, preference, either I will choose on the basis of impact factor or the days of first decision or the acceptance rate. Let, for example, I'll choose uh, for this, uh, my paper, I will choose uh, scientific reports or simply this environmental science and pollution research. The impact is good. The average uh, first decision average is almost three months and the acceptance rate is 30 percent. The other point is that this environmental science journal, it is having both the model. If you look here, it is an open access. So open access means you need to pay and it will be available online. Anyone can easily uh, you know, download it anywhere without any subscription. Also, this journal is subscription based. It means you need not to pay for its publication. So, but it will be not available that time online everywhere, means it is not open access. So this journal I'm choosing because I do not want to pay for this my publication, I do not have the uh, publication fee available. So I'm choosing this. So how to choose directly go this link, click here. And finally, you will reach to the submit your manuscript. In this submit your manuscript, you directly have to click. When you click, uh, you will reach to the manuscripts, uh, the, this journal's main page, where you have to first of all register if you are a new user and for those who are already publishing they can use their username and password this is how the system is working with springer and by this way you will save your time and you can yourself check what type of paper how much time it will be taking uh, in average and what how much impact factor it does have now this was about the springer if we go to the elsevier directly we'll put the elsevier general finder when we click it the first link will be opening. It will show us the journal finder from Elsevier.com. When we click here, again, we will get the same system like Springer. Both are different uh, you know, publishers. Both are renowned. Both have huge number of uh, these research uh, journals. Now, again, in the journal finder from Elsevier, you will get uh, this type of uh, you know, first page. You have to put here the paper title paper abstract, for example, if I put the paper abstract here and I have already the paper uh, title, I will put the paper title here as I, sh uh, as I have shown you uh, working with the Springer system. So when I put it here, my title, I put the uh, paper abstract. Now Elsevier is giving another important point that you can put the keywords also. For example, my research uh, paper is relevant to plant physiology. So I will write plant, physiology and I get this type of keyword when I click it here. So it becomes easier for the artificial intelligence system. Uh, they will find uh, papers relevant to me. Also, I am working on stress physiology. So when I write stress, stress physiology, I'll get the you know, keyword. So I will put a number of keywords here. Then I have a choice to select the field of research like agriculture and biology, environmental science, uh, computer science, neuroscience, or I can put it as such. Or if I want to refi refine my research, so refine the research on the basis of whether I want to publish in subscription journals only or those which are the paid journals, we call them gold access journals or both. So if this is the case, we'll put it as such. We will not uh, refine it further. And finally, we will say find journals. So as you see, uh, we get a list of journals like we got it from the, the you know, system of uh, Springer. So it is showing that my 
relevant paper. It is uh, very much relevant to these 48 channels uh, of LCDF. So it is suggesting me the plant science. I can check the site score for it, the impact factor for it, acceptance rate, time to take the first decision. And after the first decision, time to publish in, a, in an issue. All these things are there showing. Also, it is showing us whether this journal is an open access or it is a subscription based. Open access already, I told you, it means that you have to pay uh, and it will be always available everywhere or you need to, you need not to pay, but it will be not available everywhere. So this is a list of 48 journals for my research. I can check. Now, if I suppose I want to uh, publish it or I want to submit it in this journal, Plant Science Journal, again, just like the Springer, here I have to click and I will directly go to the system. This is a journal website. Here I can submit my paper. When I click, so I will directly reach to the system where I need to first of all register if I am just publishing in this journal first time, uh, just like here, register now. Or if you have already published many papers from this, you have to put the username and password. By this way, you can easily find a way to submit your research articles. I hope this uh, short video was helpful to you. If you like to have more uh, these type of educational uh, short videos, you just uh, subscribe my channel, Dr. Khalid Hakim, and press the bell icon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.